Let's do this, Timmy. I love stories. Children, children. I have a wonderful story for you today. Yay! I still have to. It's about three civilizations. Yay. Oh my god. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yes. Let it begin. Once upon a time. There was once a group called the Mongols that took over many civilizations. So, what do you think of this new Russian Empire, Bubba? Yep. Very interesting indeed. Ah, eh? uh, it's the Mongols. Run! Run, Bubba! Run, Bubba! Run, Bubba! How Genghis Khan dies, we may never know. So now that Genghis Khan is dead, I vote that I am ruler instead. Not a chance, you prissy pants. I think I should be ruler. <laughs> I am much cooler. I disagree. I disagree too. Well, I disagree with you. Whoa there! I think I should be ruler. I'm Kublai Khan, his grandson, and you guys are brothers. I'll take over China and you guys can have the rest of the Mongol Empire. I agree with that. I second that. I heard that. <laughs> so the three brothers decided to fight over the land. so kind but they lost their minds now I'm the highest of the land all you will bow down to my command <laughs> the Mongols took over the Russian Empire creating the Golden Horde And so the Russian people were taken over by the Tartars. Sixteen years later. We have everything. We got the Middle East, we even got Russia. It's too easy for us. We go to civilization, but a boom, bada bang, it's ours. It's that easy. We're like the Mafia. The Mafia. We're not Italian, we're the Mongols. Well, bada boom, bada bang. Bada boom, bada bang. I am tired of these people. Attack! And so the expulsion of the Tartars began. Ooh, Grandpa, what happened after the Mongols left Russia? Yeah, what happened? Well, Ivan the Terrible came to power and united Russia. The people were on a journey through vigorous terrain.
survival is absolutely necessary. And so Russia was converted. But how did Christianity become big in Russia, Pops? Well, the leader Vladimir married Justinia, sister of Justinian, the leader of the Byzantine Empire, and created a union between the two, also introducing Christian practices to Russian culture. Yay! The Russians and many other civilizations traded on the Silk Road. Would you like this silk for that? Um... Here's the silk. Oh, a trade for lantern. Oh, oh. oh. my favorite marketplace. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Trading in Kiev. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Five chickens. Yes. Five chickens. Yes. Five chickens. Yes. Five chickens. Yes. So, pops, tell us what happens next in the story of yours. The next is about the Vikings. They conquered many foreign lands. <gasps> To North America! Huzzah! The end. That was a great story, Pops. Great story, Pops. Get back, foul beast! <laughs> Is that my thing? I'm trying to get the phone so he gets out. Well, get it out of here. We need to video this. We need to get this done. Yeah. Why'd you let him out? I told you to leave him in. Okay. I'm out. As we see here, the wild Austin in its natural habitat. Watch as it grew. Watch as it glazes through the fields. <laughs> oh no, it just spotted us. It's attacking, it's attacking, run. Shady trading in Kiev. <laughs> and the Vikings took a long journey to their far away places in their long boats. As you can see, this great perilous journey has proven well. This is our menu, you're gonna like it. Alright, now I have to talk in that same voice the whole time.